Uh, hi. So, you may be wondering what happened to Plus Media Central in recent time. Uh, I know there's still people who comment everywhere, who bring it up to me, and who want to see it back, I guess. Anytime something weird does happen on the channel, like I use it for clues in something, or I post something stupid, I notice there will always be at least somebody there who is like, what happened? Where did the videos go? Or, when will, are you back? Um, no, and this channel will never come back. And I don't think it should ever come back. And I don't think anyone should make something like this ever again. Um, part of my reason for believing that is on the topic of misinformation. Uh, I was 13 years old when I made this channel, and to be fair, that's not really that long ago. I'm only 16 now, so three years. But three years was at least enough time for me to realize that this is not exactly what I should have done. Uh, that this channel was very poorly managed, and that I shouldn't have tried to make it in the first place. Um, starting with the argument that ARGs should never reveal that they're ARGs, I get that. But when it's something about a delicate topic like this, I probably should have anyway. I know that that breaks the immersion, but I really think that real-life lost media cases are something that a lot of people care about. And it wasn't fair of me to not disclose that these weren't real pieces of lost media when people care about that topic, just so that I can not break the illusion that it is to people who know and are just playing along to my little ARG. Um... I have gotten criticism before, by the way, that the story for it is overcomplicated. Part of that is because I explained it poorly, and part of that is just because they're right. Um, the story is ridiculous, and I dialed it back a lot when I brought it over back to nice and cool. Which, I mean, if you're gonna say nice and cool is misinfo, you might as well just be stupid at that point. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's pretty obvious that nothing like that would happen. But then again, I mean, people believe it. It blew up on TikTok for some reason, and I'm sorry. I'm sorry that that happened. Um, but I, I, I think they are just. Most of those people are just farming for internet ghost story clicks. Don't worry too much about them. Those are people you wouldn't convince anyway. But. I do still feel bad because I made an absolute mess with the Spongeboy Ahoy stuff. And I wanted the channel to stick to that, but there's another thing that happened. I had to just make a team, of course. Even though, like, just before this channel started coming up, the Mario Beta Archive thing collapsed, I still thought it would be a good idea to start a team. <laughs> Oh yeah, I won't screw it up like them. Idiot. But, um, I started the team. And it had a couple of people on it. I'm not gonna name them, because... Honestly, it's not worth your time. You shouldn't go trying to find them, or talk to them, or anything. Let them move on with their lives, even if they did something terrible. After all... I'm not such a shining star myself, but, um, the team consisted of quite a few people. Um, two of my close friends, one of them did VHS transfers. We did, like, actual tapes most of the time. And then another friend who mostly just, I guess, filled the role of a director. And then... Um, there were some artists, somebody who did 3D stuff, I think, but we never really utilized it. 
and we all would come up with these videos together, but one thing would kind of happen is I, I feel like my vision would kind of slowly fade out of the project. Part of that is because I stopped making the videos myself. The last one I did before the original channel collapse was like the blue Nickelodeon one or whatever. And that video wasn't good. It, it was one of those things like that. It was something like that, and obviously my edits were way less convincing and realistic than the ones that other people who joined the team later did. But there were some really good artists. There was one guy who, I, I've seen him now doing really well for himself. Um, he did the, that title card video. It was super well made for, compared to the rest of the videos on the channel, it looked real. Uh, where am I going with this, though? There was a lot of fighting inside of the staff team at the time. Uh, there's a lot of stuff that happened there. I tried to keep the project in order sometimes, but I feel like I was trying very hard not to seem intrusive and to give people decent amounts of freedom when I should have just told them Okay, this is the kind of video I need. Could you please help me make that? Because they were totally willing to, but after a while they weren't. And I feel like I shouldn't have created a team at all. Because the original idea for the channel kind of got diluted that way. Um... Some of the people who worked on it just did some really odd stuff. One of them got mad at us and destroyed the server and we had to make a new one. One of them left the team and like started uploading a bunch of crap to the channel at some point, and that's when the channel kind of died. Uh, but there was a lot of joke videos uploaded at that point, and I joined in on that eventually, because I was like, well, Captain goes down with the ship, I'm just going to upload troll videos too. And honestly, I can tell why that made people mad at me. I can tell that that was not fair, that that was something I shouldn't have done, but at the same time, some of the reaction I got from people wasn't really fair. I got some very matter-of-fact ultimatum sounding comment from somebody once saying that I should just do my job and give them the videos or leave and I would like to ask for a second like what do you mean do my job <laughs> this is not my job it never was my job I was some like I think at that point I was like 14 or something I was doing these stupid videos and you're saying do your job and give me my sponge boy Like, uh, you're not paying me to make Sponge Boy. But, I mean, uh, that one's always stuck in the back of my mind. Is like, is that what people think? Do people think I'm, like, profiting off of this in any way? Like, I no, I just had an idea for a story I wanted to tell, and I did a bad job. This channel shouldn't be repeated because... You can see how everything went wrong and why. Um, if you're like a young kid who watched my videos and you're trying to make your own Spongeboy thing, I, I hate to be mean, but please don't. <laughs> I mean, like, I find it infinitely flattering that I inspired a bunch of people and that they keep making Spongeboy, but I don't know. I think that it just floods the conversation. Especially because most of these don't disclose that they're fake, which is the same mistake I made. And there's a couple people that I think that I should directly apologize to about this. 
Um, there's one person who was in the comment section very early on named Nick Archiver 52 And I know they're still around doing stuff, so... Um, if you ever see this, I want to say I am sorry for being kind of mean to you. <laughs> it's probably not that big a deal now, but I, I'll sometimes go on Nickelodeon servers or, like, stuff related to Spongebob or Lost Media, and I always have to instinctively check, like, have they said something about me here? <laughs> because they usually have, and so, like, I'll see something, and it's usually, like, Nick Archiver 52 or somebody, some other person saying, like, that this is an insult to Lost Media, and that it... It, that, that it's tricking people, and that I'm doing it for clicks, and that's that's kind of right. I mean, I did like getting the attention, but most of it was just that I wanted to do one of those cool beta archive ARGs, and then it ended up blowing up in my face by being terrible. Um, so, yeah, I am sorry. I'm sorry that I made those videos that I d kind of destroyed the discussion about Spongeboy Ahoy for a while and probably it's probably still dead in the water like uh, let me look up the phrase now Spongeboy Ahoy let's check it the first stuff you see <laughs> yeah I'm sorry <laughs> I am so sorry for this. I honestly would have not done it had I known this would have gone so bad. I'm really just, uh, outside of this, I'm really just a regular person. I, I promise, I'm not like constantly trying to farm attention on the internet by making Spongebob fakes or whatever. This blew up on accident. But also, like, um... Where am I going with this? I... Okay, back to the point about how this shouldn't be repeated. Um... All I can really say is please. Like... I don't want to see something like this happen again. If you're making some ARG about lost media, I don't suggest you do your best to make it seem real and to constantly LARP as if it's real on the internet. And, like, uh, take away the persona sometimes. I know that that, like, defeats the purpose, but I'm going to be honest. This kind of ARG doesn't work because of that. Because you're constantly putting on the persona saying, well, obviously, this is super real, and I discovered it, and it's... I found it in my attic, and the people who can tell that that's not real aren't gonna be, like, annoyed, thinking, wow, this looks stupid. And then the people who think it is real are gonna spread it around as if it's real information. It totally muddies the waters. And I'm sure there's like plenty of people who will enjoy playing your ARG and just figuring out the clues and whatnot, but at the end of the day, there's still a percentage of people who sincerely believe that it's real and a percentage of people who are going to absolutely hate you for that. Because I remember going around some... Lost Media themed servers, and actually seeing a lot of people who really didn't like me, and I can understand why. I totally get it. They're right to. I. This channel was a mistake. So I, I just want to lead this off with like um. A few more notes about like towards the end here. There was a person that I was working with. I'm not going to say who they were, but they did some things. They kind of took over the channel a few times. 
and started uploading their own stuff. And it was, I gotta admit, it was okay. It was like decently made stuff. But um, that person was kind of not fun to be around at points. And a lot of that had to do with our personal lives, so I'm not going to say much about it. But for a while, they were saying some stuff publicly about one of the early members of the group, you know, my one friend who did the VHS stuff. And I just want to say, like, the accusations towards that friend are completely fake. I know I made a community post about this, so you probably know who I'm talking about and why. But those really didn't happen. I'm being completely honest. I know I'm pausing a lot. Sorry, this is really off the cuff. This person didn't do anything at all. So, yeah, just leaving it off here. Don't repeat this channel. Don't ever make this again. It was a horrible idea. 